can take it away. Thanks, Matt. Um, so as Matt said, uh, my name is Jay Kaufman. I'm with Buckeye Educational Systems. Um, I am the uh, K-12 um, uh, educational consultant. So I work with the K-12 schools in the state of Ohio, um, doing everything uh, from, uh, we work everything from K-12 uh, career tech and post-secondary. Um, let me share my screen here so we can go ahead and get into the presentation. Um, is everybody able to see my screen? Yes. Is it in? Is it in? Uh, it is in view? presenter mode. Oh, um, that's, yeah, it's one of those two. Better? There you go. Better. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so like I said, um, we're going to, today we're going to talk about some industry recognized credentials. Um, we're going to talk about SACA. Um, I'm, uh, first going to talk about, um, how, what we, uh, we were, we do different programs. So how the program incorporates into, um, into the industry recognized credentials. Um, so we're going to talk about Ignite. We're going to talk about uh, SACA. Um, um, and then uh, we'll get into how that aligns and what that aligns to um, with all of that. Um, so Ignite, um, what is Ignite? Um, Ignite Mastering Manufacturing is a multi-course curriculum designed to introduce high school students to different technologies in uh, advanced manufacturing and automation. Okay, it kind of blends the career exploration with the career preparation um, with industry 4.0, um, design thinking, advanced materials, um, uh, in, in different processes um, with that. Um, all of the curriculum uh, with the image, with the e-learning um, is all interactive, so highly interactive, um, over 3,000 hours of content plus 300 unique courses. Um, with that, um, so students can go in, um, it can be accessed uh, all from uh, a computer, a Chromebook, an iPad. Um, I run it off my phone sometimes. Um, so it can all be uh, um, accessed from any device that a student would have. Here's kind of the general path of Ignite. Um, so they are semester based. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Um, with that, um, so semester-based courses, about 65 hours um, with this. Um, and so it starts out with, you know, what introduction to advanced manufacturing. So fundamental concepts, um, you know, basic skills, technical highlights, gets into CNC, CAD, um, robotics, additive manufacturing, um, and really just lays out that baseline um, in that first course of, what is what is advanced manufacturing? Because so many times, um, you know, students drive by a manufacturing facility and they have no idea. They just see four cement walls or a big building and they have no idea um, what happens inside of that facility. And this really breaks that down um, with the fundamental concepts uh, of what they do. The second course um, gets into introduction to systems. So, um, uh, projects, concepts, solving, uh, you know, making things smart. So taking your basic CAD, CNC, electrical, pneumatics, hydraulics, and how does that apply into a system? Um, then we get into course three, which is some is mechatronic systems, where they get into more advanced electrical, mechanical, fluid power, PLCs, programming, um, digital manufacturing, um, where they get into cloud technologies, CAM, um, cloud-based data connection. Um, course five gets into advanced materials and design. So um, course, courses four and five are really um, project heavy. So in that, um, and you'll see um, in, later in the slides, some of those projects um, that, that that gets into. Um, and then course six gets into your IIoT data analytics and networking. So basically how things connect, 
um, and how things work from an IT perspective um, in a manufacturing world um, with that. So Ignite was developed by the Department of, De of Defense. Um, and uh, the some of the key partners with that were Lyft, which is the lightweight innovations for tomorrow, um, uh, DMDX, America Makes, which uh, everybody in the, um, if anybody's from the Youngstown area, um, everybody knows America Makes, um, and, of, and of course, Ignite. Um, uh, with that, you got the Ohio State University, Past Innovation Foundation, and ASM. Amateur. Um, so basically what happened was they are, um, everybody said that um, they're talking about reshoring. So, for example, the Intel project, um, they're looking, you know, in New Albany, they're looking to hire 3,000 workers um, in two fabs, and the average wage is about $135,000 a year. Um, Eli Lilly um, in Indiana, um, talking about the chip shortage with the CHIP Act, the CHIPS Act, uh, supply chain automation. Um, so things that are um, manufacturing is coming um, to this area. Um, with Honda, Intel, um, and, you know, there's a lot going on um, in Ohio with, with that. Um, and this really prepares the students, these programs and credentials prepares the students um, to, to get jobs at a, at a place like Intel. Through here, um, you can see different defense contractors. Um, so the goal of Ignite um, is to engage in a manufacturing program that would teach 24, 21st century skills in a modern manufacturing environment, technical skills, employability skills, project-based learning, um, career exploration, um, getting students to expose to different technologies. Um, and it's really an intersection about aptitudes and interest. So with this program, it's really not pigeonholing them to say, you have to go down this path and do this certain thing where with this program, it's more about if a student likes electrical, there's an electrical pathway and there's electrical credentials that go along with that. If they like the robotics pathway, there's a robotics pathway with credentials um, that, that go down that pathway, fluid power, mechanical, there's all kinds of different pathways and it's really about the student interest. They also, um, obviously the industry recognized credential certifications um, that you know puts a student in a, um, and high demand occupations, making the, you know, 30 to $40 an hour um, in that, in that sense. And it, divide, it develops a manufacturing pi pipeline. Um, so it's not just manufacturing, it covers pre-engineering, STEM, uh, mechatronics, and IT and network security. Um, you can see here some different pathways um, uh, for careers. You can see advanced manufacturing, automation, or robotics industrial design, IT, um, systems integration, CNC, um, lean uh, processes, safety, quality, um, and that sort of thing with it. You can see kind of here how it breaks down um, into course one. Um, you know, you can see that it does safety, machine automation, measurement, ACDC, fluid power, um, CNC print reading your basic skills with that course two then incorporates the hand tools uh, machine drives precision measurement ACDC um, electrical sensors and deep dives more into machine tools CNC that sort of thing with it um, mechatronic systems um, which is course three takes uh, computer based controls with applying electrical pneumatics and fluid power but also um, PLCs and programming applications. Uh, course four, the dig uh, digital manufacturing. Um, this really, this is where this introduces the, the PLC robotics and cloud technologies. Um, and some of the projects that they do, um, let me see if they're um, in this here. So some of the presentations that they'll do in courses four and five with that, um, is they'll incorporate um, a drone delivery system. So they'll incorporate um, creating 3D printing uh, a device that'll go on the bottom of a drone to be able to 
uh, pick up a box, pick up something to take from one place, uh, from one area, from one point to another. Um, use um, a, a freshwater, uh, a clean water system, a hovercraft, I mean, a can crusher and in, incorporating robotics into that. There's different things, different projects. And again, it's not something that if uh, uh, the instructor um, has a, uh, a makerspace or a, a lab that has different technologies in it, that they can't use those things as well to incorporate um, and make as well with that. Ignite is a turnkey solution. So we, we do that with uh, competency-based curriculum, instructor training, um, the instructor guides and assessments, virtual simulations, and obviously the hardware um, with that. Um, when I talk about inst instructor training with that, um, we do provide the instructor training both for the uh, hardware and the curriculum, but also for the, the uh, credentials as well. You can see that with the Ignite pathway, you get into, uh, you, they enroll into the Ignite program, go through common employability skills, their core technical skills, project-based learning, and then they get their industry recognized credentials um, with that. So what I'll do is kind of dump, jump into the industry recognized credentials um, with that. So Ignite aligns to several industry recognized credentials. Um, the one that we're focusing on uh, uh, for this presentation is SACA, which is the Smart Automation Certification Alliance. Um, and you can kind of see here different pathways um, of where they can they can go. So they can go through and start an in, in, introduction to advanced manufacturing, and then they can go down and do into option A and do the MSSC fast track. They can go into industry introduction to systems, um, and, and it kind of all revolves. But you can also see in options um, B, C, D, E, and F um, there, they all align to the Smart Automation Certification Alliance. Now, all of these uh, credentials um, are uh, points on the uh, state uh, industry recognized credential list. So you can see that, so the MSSC plus Skill Boss is a 12 point credential. Um, the SACA certifications um, are the basic operations, advanced operations and robot systems operations. Those are all three points um, on the state list. The ones under, underneath that from C101 or C201 to C255, those are all uh, four point credentials on the state list. Um, state industry recognized credential list with that as well. So um, why are industry recognized credentials important? Um, it's, in, uh, it's important for uh, allow students to demonstrate the knowledge and skills required in a specific occupation or industry. It increases the marketability, earning power, um, enhanced academic performance, and improved reputation. Um, the credentials are portable. So these credentials, the SACA credentials, um, are actually recognized uh, in about 48 states. Um, so um, they are uh, Ohio. Um, like I said, they are on the Ohio list, and there are a lot of manufacturers in Ohio that recognize the industry, rec uh, recognize the SACA credentials with that. Um, and it is, does articulate to local post-secondary schools. So um, a lot of the post-secondary market in Ohio um, also recognizes the soccer credentials as um, credit um, with that. And we'll talk more about that here in just a minute, how that works. Um, so with SACA, you can see that SACA actually can transfer um, to a, a, a two-year technical college degree and a four-year bachelor's of science degree um, uh, from a university as well. A little bit about SACA. Um, SACA is nonprofit. Um, it's industry driven. Um, you know, it was developed uh, for industry by industry um, with that. Um, so you can see that it develops occupational skill standards, promotes careers, trained teachers, certifies uh, individuals in uh, many functions of smart automation, 
anybody's heard the the term industry 4.0, I know that's a big term right now um, in the state of Ohio is industry 4.0. You can see here, these were the companies that were an instrument uh, to develop the soccer credentials. So you can see some of the big ones here. You can see FANUC. Um, you can see uh, Rockwell Automation. They're out of Twinsburg. Um, the largest, uh, um, you can see Sargento Cheese, Ashley Furniture, Boeing, um, Hershey. Um, so you can see some names on here that were instrumental to getting soccer developed. Um, and so they sit that, sat down in a work group and said, okay, where, what can we, how can we get uh, people certifications and what does that look like? You can also see that they are stackable. Okay, so a student can start in the ninth grade year of high school and go all the way through their post-secondary career. So here kind of breaks down the associate level of SACA. Um, so like I said, basic operations, advanced operations, robot systems, IIoT, data analytics, and networking. Um, so um, I work with a lot of schools in the state of Ohio that do um, these, these programs um, and these credentials. Um, to give you an example, um, Chardon High School last year gave out 33 um, soccer credentials. Um, uh, Brookfield High School gave, I think, 43. Um, I know down at um, um, uh, Pickaway Ross Career Center uh, down there, uh, they gave away close to 40 credentials. Um, so you, it, it is very, um, and they're not, I always like to say they're not, easy credentials. So it's something that a student that once they, they, they do have to get in and work and study for these credentials by going through the curriculum. It's not something that if a student um, is looking to just get an easy 12 pointer, an easy three pointer, an easy four pointer. Um, these, these are, are pretty um, rigorous uh, credentials with that. You can also see then they get into the specialist level. Um, and so with that, um, the like I said, the three, the basic operations, advanced operations, robots, and IIoT are all three points. But under the automation system specialist level, that first one, those are all on the, with the micro credentials, those are all on the state list as well um, with that. Then we get into the um, professional level. This is more university focused um, with that. Give you an idea, SACA member organizations, there's currently 333 members. There's a total of 14,888 users. Um, in the SACA state uh, approved certification list, you know, they got 20 states um, in secondary programs, 35 states with post-secondary programs and 16 states with workforce development groups. Um, they've given out a total number of, of uh, 20,994 of silver certifications and 11,997 of, of gold certifications. So the difference with the silver and the gold, um, the way that that works in the state of Ohio doesn't recognize the difference between silver and gold. Um, so the silver certifications are uh, just a written test. So a student goes through the curriculum. Um, once they go through the curriculum, then they go on and take their certification test. Um, and what, if they pass it, um, they get their silver certification. Um, in the state of Ohio, if they pass their silver basic operations test, there's their, they get three points for that. Um, what other what manufacturers like to see are the hands on as well. Um, so the gold certifications are hands on. So once a student becomes silver certified, they can take the hands-on portion of that test and get gold certified. Now, the nice thing about the gold certifications is the instructor doesn't have to go anywhere um, in order to get gold certified. So you can, uh, so for example, if I were, I'm gold certified in basic operations, um, so if I go to the school and the instructor gets certified in silver, I can go certify the teacher in gold. And then from there, the instructor can certify his students in gold. 
And then from there, any student that the instructor says, hey, I think that you would be good to give out gold certifications, they can give out gold certifications as well. Um, there is a list of things, of, of scenarios that, a, that an instructor will get um, to walk them through how to give that gold, so, uh, gold certification with that. Um, but they don't have to go anywhere to get the, they, they don't have to go anywhere to be trained, um, to go, you know, do a presentation, do any of that. They literally, once they're gold certified, um, then they can gold certify, um, everybody else, um, with that as well. Um, you can kind of see here then, um, once <clears throat> this is where we get into where Saka can, uh, uh, the stackable credentials, can uh, uh, get into an automation automation leadership degree through University of Wisconsin Stout. So, um, basically, University of Wisconsin Stout um, offers courses aligned with SACA um, to for the UW Stout's automation leadership degree um, to enhance you know industry recognized credentials, man management training, and relevant leadership. Um, the maximum transfer um, is 88 credits, um, and the SACA certifications earned at any SACA member institution qualify for that. Um, so, for example, um, you know, if a student were to go to go through high school, um, after their first uh, two year, uh, first two years, the way that that works is that I'm going to see if it's. Oh, yep. Here we go. So. The technical core skills is 40 credits. They get 27 credits of general education, 19 credits from UW Stout, um, and 21 credits from the professional level micro credentials, and then they can get their automation leadership degree. So the way that this would work in a high school is that students would go through and get um, 15 soccer credentials, okay? So they would get the one the c101 c102 um and then uh c104 then they could also go through and get the um c101 through c212 and there is their 40 micro credential 40 credits there's their first 15 credentials um for to start into their uh automation leadership degree okay then from there, they can partner with a um, local community college or technical college um, and take their 27 gen ed credits. And from there, once they do that, they can um, work currently working with a couple community colleges in Ohio to articulate where a, a student could get a, um, a two year associate's degree in automation leadership or automation, um, you know, whatever the community college would like to call that, um, to where a student could get their two-year associate's degree. Um, and then if they want to continue on to the next level um, with that, then, you know, to get their bachelor's degree, um, they can do that. Um, now, the nice thing is, is that UW Stout is not particular in the fact of they will articulate with any SACA member and or community college system that that uh, in the state of Ohio. OK. You can see here that then um, they through through that um, they're going to do uh, the 19, the professional level ones. They got to choose seven of them. Um, and so once they go through these seven. OK, so they've taken their core skills, they've done their general education, they've done the professional level. Now we get in, then now, oh, I missed a slide. Um, and then from there, what they would do is they would take uh, seven classes from UW Stout um, all online. Um, and once they complete those seven classes from there, then they will have their a uh, bachelor's degree in automation leadership. And the student never has to leave your community. 
So they go to your high school, they go to your career center, um, whether that's, you know, adult ed, um, then they could also go to your local community college. And after that, then they can take the UW Stout um, uh, online courses and they never have to leave your community um, with that. And um, I always say that parents don't like to hear that their student is on an alternative pathway. Well, that alternative pathway for in this setting is that they can be on a pathway to a four-year degree um, in automation leadership using industry-recognized credentials um, with that. Um, Jake, so, before we go any further, I have, there's a few questions in the chat. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, never mind. Yep. No, finish up. You have, you're on your last slide here. Nope. You're good. Um, my, my last, if there was any, uh, my last slide was, uh, questions. So. Cool. So one of the questions in the chat is, is this program a school would buy? My other screen just went black. Um, or that students could do on their own with their families. So I guess, how could a school go about purchasing um, this SACA program, yep. I know you mentioned Chardon has it, um, a few other schools are using it. How have they implemented it and, um, how is it working for them? Yep. Um, okay. So, um, the way that SACA works, um, SACA is a, is $500, um, for the, uh, for you to become a member of SACA and all of your certification tests are free. So you don't pay per certification. Um, you can run one student. You can run a thousand students um, through it um, in your school, um, and you only and you pay five hundred dollars for the year um, in a high school um, with that. Um, the way that the program would work is that um, with the uh, with the Ignite or the Industry four point program. Um, that is through Amatrol, um, and we represent Amatrol um, as a manufacturer's rep. So we would come out, um, kind of see what the pathway is with that, with the school. So, for example, um, with Chardon, um, they felt that their that Industry 4.0 was the the right path for that. Um, and and to give you an idea, um, you know, uh, of of how they're doing with that, they run it through their CBI program. Um, and again, they gave away 33 credentials last year using the hands-on equipment and the curriculum um, to go through that. Um, and I also have several videos. Um, Amatrol came up and shot several videos um, with one with Chardon, one with Brookfield, um, one with Southwest Local down in the Cincinnati area, and also one at um, East High School in the Youngstown area. Um, and it's really, it interviews the students and the instructors to kind of talk about what, what do they think about the program and how does it going to help them get a job in the future? Um, what they like, what they don't like, you know, every bit of that. So, um, I can, I can share those as well, um, with you guys. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I think it'd be very helpful to see it in action. Um, you know, you've even got a comment on it. The Stern video is fantastic. I imagine the others are as well. Um, so that's that's great to hear. Um, another question in the chat: What is the MSSC fast track? And maybe you'll talk about that in the next session. I will. Yes, okay. I will talk about it in the, that in the next next session as well. Okay. Yep. Um, cool. And then, what if we have a student who's about to graduate? Is there a comparable type of training support that they could access to explore this path? Like, is there something that's you know shorter termed? Um, or are there any post-secondary programs you may recommend that may be good for individuals with autism? Um, yeah, so the um, if a student is about to graduate, um, yes, they can, in the micro-credentials, the micro-credentials under, uh, under the um, uh, automation, uh, under, let me go back here. Um, so under the uh, automation system specialist level, um, it does under this level here. Oh, my mouse is not working. Um, under the automation system specialist level, there's short 40 hour micro credentials in electrical, pneumatics, um, sensor logic, um, you know, some, some of those that a student could complete um, in a short time. Um, and yes, they would, um, if they are, if the school becomes a SACA member, um, and even if they don't have the equipment, 
They can do the silver level with the knowledge by going through the curriculum, but there's also um, virtual trainers on there as well that they could do. Yep. So in order to get the silver level, you don't need the materials like the you do actual... not in order to do the silver level you do not have to have the equipment nope now that doesn't say i will say that going through the curriculum um and not having hands-on uh yeah. the hands-on to do that with makes it a little more difficult right. um but yes there isn't anything um saying that you have to have a, a lab full of equipment Um, what teacher training is needed? Like, what is it? What training does a teacher need to go through in order to become certified to use or to kind of work with the students, um, in earning these credentials? Um, so the way that that works is we come out, we do, um, we come out to your school. Typically we do about four, um, with the industry 4.0 program and the ignite program, we typically do about four days of training. Um, now they don't have to be consistent days of training um, with that. Um, it can be split up, um, but um, yep, we come out to the school, do uh, about four days of training um, with the instructor. Um, and then the only thing the instructor needs to do, they don't have to be certified in order to teach uh, SACA. Um, so there isn't anything saying that you have to be you know, silver certified in any of the areas. Now, we would recommend that this the instructor takes those certification courses. So that way, when they do teach it, um, they know what's on the test and that sort of thing with it. Um, but, um, you know, a lot of the instructors in Ohio um, are uh, that that run these programs are um, certified with that. So um, I have some instructors that came from a manufacturing facility that they took the basic operations test and passed it without even going through any of the curriculum because <laughs> they know the electrical and pneumatics and hydraulics and that sort of thing with it. Um, and so, um, but again, it's, it's um, one of those where if they have the, the, the knowledge, they can just take the test. Um, there isn't anything, you know, but most of them go through the curriculum to do that. And what is the cost for all of this? Do you have any? So to give you a ballpark price, like I said, uh, Sokka is 500 bucks. Um, to do a full um, industry 4.0 program, um, now this is just ballpark pricing, um, obviously, um, but it's right around, uh, depending on different options, but anywhere between 230 to 250,000, to, and that's with curriculum equipment um your saka that's everything um to do the full ignite program you're looking right around the four hundred thousand dollar range and that's with curriculum equipment and all of that as well okay and last but not least what accommodations are available for students with disabilities and non-english speaking students um so they do it is available um in spanish um the curriculum is available in spanish um with that um, and what was the, sorry, what I, what was the first part? How about students with disabilities? Like are there accommodations that are allowable or that aren't, you know, that. Yep. Yeah. So, um, if they, if the student has an aid, um, the aid is able to, to be there to help them. They obviously can't give them the answers, but they are able to help read the question, um, and work with them on that. The school would just need to specify when they go to take the the test um, that the student is in need of 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 help with that. Does anybody else have any questions for Jake? If not, and you need a certificate, I'm going to put those links in the chat here. Um, one, the top one is just for a certificate. If you need a certificate, the bottom one is for feedback. If you'd like to give us any feedback about how we can do better or what we've done well. Um, I thank you guys for joining this session. We'll hop over to, if no one else has any other questions, 
Um, Matt, would you would you like me to play at the? Oh the yeah, if you yes, yeah. you have those videos. I don't know how much. Play. Yeah, I don't know how much how much time we have, but um, you have. Yep, we got about. I can't see my clock. About 15, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Um. Can everybody hear it? No, we cannot. You'll have to click, I think, automate or enhance for. We can hear it. Oh, you can hear it? Okay. Yep. Well, not anymore. You want to take full control. Uh, all these ads. I apologize. The team ICS needs more time to do what they actually want. Is everyone able to hear? No, we can't. Yeah, I can't hear. It's very faint. Um, let me see if I can. Uh... It should be an option, like a share my, I forget what it is. Um... Share sound? Yeah. That works. That's that good. Yep. If I want to be an electrician, there's a part for that. If I want to do stuff with robots, there's a part for that. There's no like one specific path this thing kind of goes down. Even right here, it says one right here. I like to say it's for any kind of student, really. The general idea is, oh, it's for students that, you know, they need something hands-on to be interesting. That's not entirely true. Go down the claw. We have some students who, in the future, they probably are going to go more the general technician route versus students who are going to use this class as almost like a springboard into an engineering career. It was new and upcoming, and it was a lot of interesting things. More hands-on than sitting in a classroom. This one's more of like on your own, self-paced. You just go on the Amatron website, kind of go through all the works, and then go hands-on and start working on different pods. This class is really helpful because it kind of breaks things into, OK, here's a little bit of pneumatics, here's a little bit of electrical. Then they get to apply it on our skill boss here. So they take that kind of, you know, the more specific things and they can apply it to different machines like in industry and the companies love to see that. When they've come in for visits and saw the list of, of credentials that our students were working on, uh, right away they, they tell us, listen, if, if, if these kids get these three or four, we'll hire them right now at $65,000. The soccer credentials are the key. They're industry recognized credentials. It's the same training that uh, local manufacturers would provide. Most of the places are gonna send you to get credentials, like what we have, like these machining credentials and like robotics, like they're gonna send you a way to get them. So when you have them, 
you're already a step higher than a lot of people. Every business that we've had come in here and that we've talked to has been very interested in the SACA certifications. For the kids to have that path set out for them right now of, okay, this is what I have to do to get where I want to go, uh, that's really, really good for them because they have a goal that they can stick to and they can work hard at in here so they know, okay, well, this will materialize when I graduate. 1.3. Yeah. This company called Exaloy just offered me a paid internship with them. I'd be the first high school student in that company to work for them with the internship, with the credentials I've earned through this course. So that's awesome for me as a teacher. You know, um, we talk a lot in this class about, okay, what actually is your path gonna be after college? And even throughout the district, we talk about, okay, are you going straight into a career? Are you going to college, military even? I know that when I was that age, I was not thinking about anything like that, right? I worked at an ice cream place. He's gonna go do something that's in the field that he's interested in, get that experience, get a leg up on all of his peers. It's definitely a crazy opportunity, and I'll take full advantage of it, and I would encourage anyone else to like, take full advantage of it, because like, we're one of the top programs in Ohio, probably nationwide, to have all the stuff we have, and it's still growing. From here, we're in talks with local uh, universities about the potential for an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree in automated uh, leadership. I also live in this community, so for our kids here to be getting better opportunities than students elsewhere, that means a lot to me and it means a lot to the kids too. You know, it's, it's great for them to feel like, oh, we're on top in something. So that gives you a, a, a short uh, video of Brookfield. Like I said, I have other ones as well um, that they did. And I will say that the, the student that got the intern or the externship um, the, with that um, as, a, as a high school student, he's making uh, $33.50 an hour, I believe, um, as a high school student um, in that going to that company. Um, so again, um, just gives you an idea and it, and it wasn't one of those, um, I will tell you in this video, we, we just picked kids and they, they're the ones that talked about the program. Um, we, we didn't, you know, have to sit, say anything. They, they're, they really enjoy it. Um, and again, if you got anybody would like to go on a site visit, um, to see any of these schools, um, you know, let us know, um, we can set something like that up. All right, great. We have a few more questions in the chat here. Yep. How many credentials can be earned with just the Skills Boss equipment? Um, well, just with just the Skill Boss, um, that's more of your MSSC, so you'd be able to okay. earn uh, in that sense. Okay. And then can any of the courses begin in middle school and earn certifications on the pathway? Uh, yes, we also offer a middle school uh, career pathways program. Um, they have it at Brookfield. They have it at some uh, some of the other schools um, that feed uh, that feed their high school program um, and gets them on an earlier path to um, to those credentials and even down in the elementary level as well. Okay. Cool. Anybody else have any other questions? Oh, we have Jake. Well, thank you for sharing, Jake. Um, I know you're going to be back for our MSSC here shortly. Yep. I am yep. going to put the certificate and feedback link in the chat again if anybody needs it. Um, yeah, thank you guys um, for coming. Um, if you have any questions or want to get in touch um, with Jake, all of this information and stuff will be on uh, the Career Playing for Graduation and Beyond website. All right. Thank you all. Thank you.